Hey guys, I have made a bit of progress, but before that I want to test these new settings to see if the recorder itself works. I'm down here because I've just been on that grind. Let's see here. FPS is still smooth, so let's see if I can, but I still can't get it to the point where I can keep the reference distance on far. So for now I'm going to have to keep it on normal, and as long as we're on normal, we get decent FPS. So I'm pretty happy about that. I still can't get to the 100 FPS, which I can get normally when I'm not recording, which kind of sucks, but at the end of the day, there's not much else I can really do about that. And as you can see here, I've started work on the boat system. In fact, I finally finished the first of the roads. It's the same as Ethos Lab. I've put it in the description for those of you who want to see in the previous video. And I have this section here continued on. It's a pretty simple design. Okay, shout outs to 2010 Minecraft creators. Actually, was he 2009? I don't remember. Either way, he's you know, a pretty classic YouTube content creator. You will know who he is. And I'm glad that I was able to use this. I finally got to build one of these in a survival world and actually use it. There was actually a planned Let's Play back in August that was supposed to start appearing in September of last year. But... At the end of the day, I got completely canned because, for some reason, my software and my hardware was just not ready for it. And as a matter of fact, if anything, I would like a better headset, but that costs a lot of money, and I'm not made of money. I went strip mining for a bit, and this is what I got. I got 25 pieces of redstone, 4 iron, and 6 gold. Uh, what? Oh, I already maxed that on 64. Perfect. We're here again. That's good. This is where the skeleton attacked me from, but I have removed the entry point, so now if they want to get me, they have to go in through here. The reason I'm back here again is because I wanted to explore the mines, the caves, and see what I'm missing, okay? Because there's clearly a lot of stuff here, but there's also a lot of mobs everywhere, which is bad. I have come to the realization that it's probably better for editing's sake if I just decide to Top, stop talking when mining ores and instead simply allow myself to just cut that part out of the video as it saves everyone me and you included some time at least that's what I think let's do the entrance here and then torch there okay that and then that there. And we're going to try to domesticate this cave. Now, I'm not going to try to live up in a cave because that's not how I roll. But it seems to be a good idea to, at the very least, try to figure out what's going on here. Okay, F3. I can't see where the mobs are. At the very least, the chances of me getting blindsided from behind are not that high. Hopefully. Hopefully. Anyway, so to mark home for... Oh, that was bad. I forgot I was on hard mode. To mark home, I use a cross. Okay. It's easy to remember that the cross means go this way. And now, I gotta get over here. Shit. It's loud, okay? It's very loud. So what I'm gonna do is go this way. Okay. So there's that direction. What's over here? It just goes up. Okay, so good news is it's not here. <sighs> but there are clearly enemies somewhere, and I gotta be careful. I'm gonna block this part off so that I can move around and see what else is new. I mean, I don't see any zombies anywhere, which is not good for me. I like to be able to see where the enemies are. It's bright down there, which means lava, or this is the cave that leads to the surface. What's the, what's our lower layer at? We're at layer 42, meaning coal is still the dominant item. 
Hmm. Okay. There. Hmm. So if this takes me out to the cave, no. I know who you are. Get back. Get back. Leave me alone. I don't want you here. Perfect. So up here will take me back to where I need to be. But for now, gotta think about it. That's a skeleton. Shit. It is a surface cave. Okay, that's bad. Now, the thing with skeletons that I learned is that as long as you keep moving side to side, they won't hit you as much. Come on. Got it. So this is the surface cave, meaning I now know how to get down here. That tells me is I want a ladder system that takes me all the way through. Like this. Put a torch here and here. That way I can eventually connect my way out of here. Because if I can connect my way out of here, then we're golden. Meanwhile, I'm going to stop exploring here for now. Just needed to go a little bit further than last time so that I can keep expanding the cave. That's the key. Just keep going a little further each time until eventually you've taken the whole place over. Okay, there's iron there, but honestly... For the time being, I don't think it's worth going after. And this cave is about to run empty. I really wonder how this is going to play out in the end. Okay, there's a, another zombie. Sure. Let's fight him up. Okay. Step into the light, prick. Do it. Perfect. That is absolutely perfect. And now, place a block there. And then I realize something. There's iron there, but I don't want to risk getting it. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, the zombies are coming from up there and there as well. So this is just not a safe place to be in the slightest. Hmm. That is the question. F5. Now I can see my surroundings. Okay, good. So I found about eight iron. Which is what I wanted. Man, these mobs are mad spooky, I gotta tell ya. Now the sad news is that I'm going to pincer myself. If there's any enemies that just want to walk in here, I'm kind of dead. Good. So I got the iron. Next up, get the hell out of here. And put this here, and now I have a quick way back in. So what I was talking about, that cave being connected, I was referring to the fact that there was a cave I was going to explore in a previous episode. And because of it, I now know where the cave is, and that it's not really worth going through there just yet. We got some mushrooms now. That's great. I have finally added a fourth tree to this row. And all the other trees have finished growing. So I'm going to harvest all of these trees, and then we'll reconvene. I'll tell you how much what I got. I finished cutting down the trees, time to replant the saplings, and then I can show you guys how much I actually obtained. Perfect. In this instance, I cut down three, six, seven trees, and I pulled 19, I mean 29 wood. So 13 will be kept here for storage, and then the rest will be used for a stack. Good. Let's see here, what do I need to do next? I figured I'd end it by going to the nether. Let's use this diamond pick.
to get all the obsidian we need for the trip. Hopefully, nothing bad happens at all. <laughs> okay, hopefully, absolutely nothing. What am I doing? I need to get food. Why am I running around with four hearts? What the hell happened? Oh, right, lava. So as I was mining the obsidian, lava hit me, and that was bad. Very bad, indeed. Not something that I wanted to happen, but if it was going to happen, at least I know where it came from. Time to take a quick trip over here to the other side. Say hello to the other side. Wee. <laughs> Perfect. And now, I gotta put the nether portal somewhere. I think I'll put it here. Be patient with me, okay, y'all? First, we need to make some stairs. The good stairs. Because this is how we get around. Whoa, not that many. Stairs are seriously an anti-economic friendly block. Because every time you use you make stairs, you lose blocks. So I don't understand why I would use stairs willingly, but I guess if I don't have any other option, that's going to be the case. However, what I want to do is build up just a little bit, because we're currently at layer 53. So I want to build up maybe eh, two more. I should be free of any and all sand-related spelunking issues because above here is the river and the river is what's going to make this more difficult than it needs to be but since I'm going to be making it to this way just to put it in all nice and cozy you know just sort of hide it within the architecture so there I can fill it in here so now I gotta fill this in And I just realized that I forgot to get a lighter, so I'll be right back. Wee! <laughs> very fun to use the little transportation road, even if it's not that much faster, given that I'm not going very far. But if I was going farther, it'd be a lot cooler to see in action, in motion, and everything else. Very large problem. Said large problem being that the nether is not a safe place for anybody at all actually what I'm gonna do is finish this little staircase section let's enter the nether ah! where am I Holy shit. It is dark. And of course, I spawn in a place where I can't see shit, people. At all. Okay. So, the way I think this is gonna go is that first... First things first. Four, five, six... First things first, I'm going to mark this location, and then I'm going to block it off so that nothing can actually break the portal. Thinking about it, I probably shouldn't put the torches back here. Okay. Now, jokes aside, these noises are mad spooky. And the goal this time is to use the nether to make tunnels so that I can go to different areas without the need of, gen of genuinely having to travel in the overworld. Because the overworld, while it's cool to travel there, in many ways it's not. Because there's so much danger, okay? And by building all of this, I'll be able to have a nice little tunnel system that I can then use to just get wherever I want, okay? Because a block in the nether is 8 blocks O W. This should be enough for the foundation. And then eventually, 
as the game progresses, I'll add more and more to this. Step 1, protecting the nether portal has been accomplished. All that's left to do now is to make a little cornucopia. Not cornucopia, center of base. So this is 6 wide, which means that I'm going to make it 8, and this will be 8 after adding this. And I can then use whatever I have building-wise to hide myself. Okay, perfect. Okay. Okay. Good, now I won't be seen. I don't need to block everything with cobblestone, per se, so if there is some netherrack showing, that's fine. I just need to make this a nice little place to ha camp out in, in the event that I have to travel. And for the nether, we're going to be using minecarts because I can't place water in the nether. Although I think that's common knowledge at this point, I don't know why I explained it. There has been a considerable effort to obtain loads and loads of netherrack. The problem is I don't think I can genuinely sustain this consumption. And then in addition, the nether is not a great place to commentate over given how loud the environment is. Therefore, some things will need to be done to address this issue. First thing first, I need to set up more mining. Question! In old versions of this game, can you grow trees in the nether? You probably can, it's just you need bone meal, and bone meal doesn't exist yet. I think that's the rule. Okay. So the next step is to build up by two. So the way it'll go is for this section here, I'll just click two up, and then I'll try to line it up. At this point, I've already done half of the center. And then this direction is where the mobs are coming from, which is why it's louder over here. So if I big up two, will they eventually see me? Let's see where I can stop. Okay, so thankfully I don't need to worry about building up. I'll be, this is not a stable foundation down here, given that all of this lies right above in a giant pool of lava. And even if I don't fall into the lava, there's a lot of gas outside, just waiting to take a turn and do whatever they do to whatever your player character is, be it Steve or anyone else, really. Are they ever going to quiet down? I have no idea. But anyways, this has taken a really long time. I'm not finished with this, but I think I'm going to call the episode here today, because at this point, I think you all get the idea. You'll probably see this section finished, but... Before I even get that finished, I'm going to have to go through a lot of inventory management because this is mad difficult to keep up. I have made it to the other island so that I no longer have to travel through the water or go take a giant loop around. So I could technically go, if I loop all the way around and go here, I could get back to the base, but now I can go here and there without any difficulty. I have access to a desert, I have access to a nice little plains biome. And overall, this is just going to make this location much more easy to go through. The next step for the roads will be building into that mountain so that I can have some sort of... <clears throat> some sort of balcony style. And then before that much even goes through, the next step will be to make the cacti farm. Now, the cacti farm itself is going to be an endeavor by its own self. Yes, I said self twice. At end of the day, it's all about having a good time. I like how this works. It goes all the way down there, and then boom, it's up here now. So quickly, too. Unlike another system. And then lighting this up here, and then putting glass. That should make it bright. Apparently, fire can go through glass. Wonderful. Doesn't work. What the hell? Okay, so apparently fire spread is really fast in this game. Maybe I need to lower it by one. 
But if I lower it by one, doesn't that already diminish the whole intent behind it? Probably. But let's say I use two glass blocks. Will it stop the spread? Okay, it's no longer spreading when I use two glass blocks. And it does light it up a bit more. I'm not sure by how much, though. Yikes. That was... Very quickly, it turned into an ecological catastrophe. Hmm. Well, let's try to harvest as much of this as I can before this goes away forever. Three, four, five, six. Well, at least I got some wood out of that. I didn't expect to be collecting that much, but sure. That worked. So, okay, with two glass blocks, it no longer lights up. Good to know. If that is the case, then step one will be to... Is there? Wait, can I hear the fire? See, and it also adds a nice little crackle sound effect that I just think sounds really nice. And will go very well with the interior design of this location. Good. Very good. I'm not going to lie, I'm being a bit quiet here, but truth be told, there's not much else that I need to do. This is just going to be how I end off this section here. Next time, we'll be making the cacti farm, like I said. I do like this design, though. This design looks very clean. And it makes a nice little rattle noise every so often, and when you hear it, it just feels relaxing. Sort of like ASMR. Okay. Hey guys, take care.